Ah, that sound. That sound brings back memories of the greatest games on the Genesis, like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I'll be doing a walkthrough on. Starting at the very beginning, Emerald Hill Zone. In any side-scrolling platformer, I'd recommend you stay the high route, even in Mario games, uh, like that Mickey game, uh, the Circus Mystery, because most of the traps, such as spikes, bottomless pits, lava, etc., are at the bottom of the screen, so you're be best off going high. Uh, I kind of went low there, but we're good. And it's almost every Sonic stage just continues on to the right, so you, you'll rarely ever get lost, which makes the game even better. <laughs> And we are nearing the end of the first stage already. Woo! And glitch. Yeah, if you go off the screen and jump back on at the last second, you can move your character. It's a fun little glitch that you can play with to waste some time between levels. And we're at number two. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Hit the spikes there. Just keep going up, as I said. You don't want to be down below underneath the mountain where the spikes are. Oh, and hit this spring. And hit this spring. Whoa, that was close. That doesn't usually happen. Well, not that close. But these things right there, you need momentum to go through, as well as the loops. And we are already at the boss. Just jump on him and avoid his drill and the rest of his body. Easiest boss in the game. One, two. I recommend two per round. Or two per run. Sometimes you can get three. Oh, so close. Pros can get more than that, of course. And when he's down when he gets hit gets hit seven times, I'll shoot his drill out like that. Just jump over it. You can completely avoid the drill attack if you uh, hit him six times and then hit him two more times. Uh, after he comes back on screen. And that's it for Emerald Hill Zone. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Continue again, wow. The first practice run I did through this game, I didn't use any continues. I'll take the lower out here. It's strange, I only died twice, and that was because of tails both times. Tails hit, oh, and it was a boss both times, too. Tails hit the boss, and I went straight through him. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you which bosses they are as I come to them. I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't gotten far in this game. Woo! Ah! Oh. And... Go left from here. And back right again. And we are done with the level. Woo! Glitch! Yeah! Ah. Okay, now when we get to the long, fast slope right here, keep holding right no matter what, and you'll get all the way to the top. Like that. Jump over here. And get on top of these moving platforms. Go left. Into the tube. You don't have to hit that. I just wanted to for the fun of it. Okay, now after these platforms, we're going to start going right again. Careful of these two right here. They drop out if you didn't know about them. If you didn't know about them, kill him because he sometimes hits you as you jump on the um, cork, whatever you want to call it, to these tubes. And go right. Now this is probably the most annoying... Oh wait, this isn't it yet. Never mind. This right here, just jump into here, and we are past it. Okay, here it is. The most annoying part of the stage. Right here. you got got to take the lower path. It's recommended. And climb. Oh, shoot! 
Be patient. You don't want to fall back down. It's extremely annoying and can kill you. Just take one thing at a time, you'll make it. Air. And wait for it to go over. You do not want to rush it. And there's going to be a moving platform coming up right here. There's another one. These are definitely, you don't want to fall off them. And these things fall out, wait for them to pop up, and jump to the sledge, get onto the moving platform, and go over. We are almost at the boss already. And... I'll just do something risky here. Yeah! Okay. There's a moving platform that you have to... If you don't use that spring, you can just jump it like that. Well, this is the boss that Tails almost killed me on because he hit the boss and I went straight through him into those bottom into the bottomless pit under him. Yeah, okay. Basically just low jump and you'll bounce right back to the safe center platform. And we're done. Uh I think I'll have time to do one more level on this. If not, I'll just cut it off. I'll pause and cut it off. My camera can only do like maybe 8 minutes at a time. I'm pushing 6.15 or so right now I think, oops. So I better get a move on. That's what Sonic's for. Speed! Oh shoot. Just like the other stage, stay up. You do not want to go in the water. It's slow and you can get killed easily. Water stages are always a pain in games, probably because it's so, like, rarely used that you're not used to it. So what happens is that when you end up in a water stage... Oh, shoot. Oh, that was a close one. What happens when you end up underwater... Whoops. And the spring will take you back up. That's okay. When you end up underwater, as I was saying for the third time, you're not used to it, so the controls throw you off. And we're done with Act 1. We're at 7 minutes, 27 seconds. Uh, I'm going to cut it off here. So I'll see you in the next part.